Hello. Welcome back to the channel. So, there's a few things I want to talk about in this update video. We're going to talk about the two biggest things first. But I feel like I need to say what I need to say to get it off my chest. So, the other day, when I looked at Kai's video, when I did a response to the video he made about me, I saw a comment saying that kids watch my stuff and I sh I make it too public and this and that and mental health. And I understand the mass live stream was a step too far. I really let my emotions go and I should have explained things. But saying that the whole chat was kids is not, a, is not correct. There were over 200 people in that stream and the majority of them that I've seen were adults from the ones that I've talked to. Now, I want you guys to know, the reason I'm bringing it up is not to hate that comment, but I wanted to pretty much let everyone know this because I don't think a lot of people understand it. They're like, all the all the people that watch James's channel, they're kids, you know, stuff like this and that. And a lot of people don't seem to understand that This channel wasn't made for kids. The channel wasn't made for kids at all. Basically, when I made this channel, there was the little setting that was implemented into YouTube by Copa, where you can say the content is yes, made for kids, and two, no, not made for kids. I curse in my videos. I'm very public about things that are going on in my life. I'm willing to answer questions about them. And a little while ago, I was willing to constantly talk about it. Just the vent and get it off my chest. But things have been improving in my life heavily. I do not vape anymore. I do not. I, I'm being, I'm a little bit happier. I'm working on myself. I got a girlfriend who loves me for me. And I don't have to worry. So like, a lot of the most difficult parts of the year feel like they're over. They're done. They're gone. And I understand a lot of people can hold on to things. They might feel even quite strongly about it. But a lot of the things that I did were in the past. And I've apologized for almost every single action that I've made that was considered wrong in the eyes of many. And I am sorry. I, I'm willing to admit I messed up. I made some big major mistakes and I really messed up, you know, and there's not much I can really do about that, but try to improve off of the mistakes that I'm making. So I don't repeat them. And I'll admit I'm quite notorious for repeating mistakes. Like I've made countless videos saying that I was done with vaping and I would constantly keep going back about it. So I'm very prone to repeating mistakes. But truth is, I was just simply tired of continuing those same mistakes like a cycle over and over and over and over and over again. I was tired of it. I was so tired of it. So now I'm officially working on changes. I've even gotten comments. Uh, basically, one comment was from someone who I did consider a pretty good friend um, that... It wasn't my downfall that upset them. It was the fact that I've changed into possibly the worst version of myself. And for a little bit, that was pretty accurate. I was definitely the worst version of myself. Those three weeks I took off of uploading YouTube content, I took that break to work on myself. And when I saw Kai's video, he said everything was slowing down, like what's going on. I'm simply following what the subscribers gave me as advice. I took a break. I took a genuine break and pulled my shit together. Then I came back and I made that video. Hey, YouTube, I'm back. I'm doing better. I've been losing weight. I'm not vaping anymore. I'm really pulling my shit together. And I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Now, yes, I will admit, I do smoke weed. I do induce in taking the delightful marijuana. And I know some people are not exactly on the side of marijuana. There's actually quite a few people that have watched my videos who've uh, showcased that they 
were against it. And I understand. I know that it's considered a drug by many, but in my eyes, it is a herb. It is an herb that has some pretty nice advantages that really help me get through a lot. Like anxiety. Uh, my anxiety has always been really bad. Like really, really bad. And um, like it's so bad that when I go to cross the street, if there's a car that pulls up in front of me, I have to go behind that car or I feel like I'm going to have a panic attack. I don't like going in front of people's cars. That's how bad my anxiety is. I have trouble with large crowds of people. I have trouble in working environments where I have anxiety attacks. Um, I constantly overthink things a lot. It's like, it was pretty bad. And I will give marijuana credit. It does help me quite a bit. And I'm going to smoke it from time to time to focus on my mental state. Um, I'm taking my meds. I feel like those are very big when it comes to helping with me right now. And I think it's smart to continue my meds because it'll make me a better version of myself, perhaps. Or it'll at least help me get there. I understand medication doesn't do all the effort. I have to put in effort myself. And I am. I really am. So, for a lot of people that's thinking the content is for kids, it's not. I know I went off track a little bit, but I wanted to get a lot out there. I had a few thoughts I had to throw out there. But the content isn't made for kids. I just can't control if kids watch my content or not. That's not my choice. And I understand there's some kids that look up to me. There's some young teenagers that look up to me. And I'm glad people can look up to me. But the content wasn't originally made with the intent for kids to watch. Because I was always explicit in my content. I always cursed. I tried to let... With the type of content that I create, I try to showcase the channel is not meant for kids. I really do. So, the next thing on the list, right? And this one is going to make either a lot of people happy, and I feel like it'll make very few people upset if you're into consistency. But I feel like this would be better off for the channel. AU Fridays is done. I'm not doing AU Fridays anymore. Um... I'm pretty much done with that because I don't like the idea of having consistency ahead of me right now. And I love doing AUs for you guys. I know you guys mainly come to the channel for AUs. You'll definitely like the commentary. And I love doing it for you guys. I also think the stories on AUs are super freaking cool. I love them. They're awesome. I love the designs. I love uh, how terrifying it can be. I think it's super cool. Hold on. My apologies for that. My girlfriend walked in to check if I'm okay because we were hanging out at my gas station today with some other friends and I forgot to come back down. But uh, back to the topic, I don't like the idea of having to deal with a consistent thing when it comes to AUs because one, I feel like that's just going to distance me further from wanting to do AUs because I'm not going to be doing them as often. And I thought I wanted to separate them for a bit, but I kind of don't. I think things are better off when I do AUs more consistently. Or not consistently, but um, when I do them whenever I want instead of on a specific day. Because on that day, anything can happen. Any kind of thing could happen to my schedule, and I'm not sure what it is. But basically, I just don't want to do AU Friday. What I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start doing an AU whatever day I really want. And I'm going to try to do them a little bit more consistently. Because I know a lot of people on the channel love AUs. They... A lot of people give me comments that they still hope to see some more horror, some My Little Pony horror, some AUs, you know, and I'm willing to fulfill what people want to see. I want people to be happy with what I create. I want to bring others happiness. Sure, I understand there's some people that don't like that type of content. I've gotten uh, some hate from time to time, and it's completely okay. Uh, some people are just very expressive with uh, how they look at things, and some people just don't like me. That's cool. I'm not here to make anyone like me i just want to have a good time while i create content and i want the people who to enjoy my videos or who enjoy my videos i want them to enjoy those videos i want people to be really happy with the type of content that i create so yeah those are the two things i really wanted to talk about is just the first thing i had a bunch of stuff off my chest i wanted to pretty much explain that you know um the channel wasn't meant for kids I understand kids watch it. I know you're also, a few people are going to be like, it doesn't matter. Kids still watch your content. I know. 
but I can't control that. I don't control who watches and doesn't watch my content. I'm not like an all powerful, ma like magician or like dude that can just snap his fingers to prevent any kids from watching my content. Plus I, I do understand there's some kids out there that like my content and that's completely fine. I think people can watch what they want. If you're young, like you're a kid, the channel is not recommended for younger audiences because like I said, I curse. I try to make the video at least known to be more on the explicit side. I, I can tell there's definitely a lot of kids that watch the video still though, because I'll get a lot of comments from people telling me to stop swearing. And the whole reason that I swear a lot is simply because I want people to know the channel was not made for kids. So anyway, I just wanted to bring this up. Wanted to bring this update to you guys today. Um, AU Fridays is done. I wanted to get that off my chest about the channel not being for kids and a few other thoughts that I've had, you know. And I kind of want to just move on. Like, I'm not holding on to the past anymore. I don't really want to get into any drama or anything. I just, I just want to have fun again. I want to do what I did earlier this year, but I want to do it better than what I did before. So thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.